Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this uh, self-study kit of advanced UCC access scripting, I'm going to show you how to create a script that changes the languages. So, being from Toronto, uh, uh, from Canada, we have two offic official languages. We have French and then we have English. Any call that comes in, for example, let's say Quebec province, which is equivalent state, we usually set the call to a French language by default. Of course, with the option that they have the option to press 9, that will change it to English. Uh, for any uh, other location where the call comes in, we must change it to the US uh, English. Now, user uh, give the user option to switch the language if they press 9. Check for, check for the day of the week and the time of day. Check to see if the call center is open or closed. Uh, give the user an option to change that force close, you know, like turn, out, turn, turn on a switch or on and off. And give the option for administrator to change that uh, flag, like, you know, if the for force open is on or off, depending, you know, what the value is set. And then finally, give you the op uh, main menu option. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start a script, just like any other normal script, self-explanatory. And then our first goal is to get the caller ID to check where the call came from. So what we do, we use a get call contact info, store into local variable call str calling number. And we're going to take the calling number, store into this variable. Then, using a switch, we're going to say, okay, the caller ID can have two variable, either 514, which is Montreal, 819, which is also Montreal or Quebec. If the call comes from any of these two code, that means it is for, uh, you know, coming from Quebec province or state where the language should be set to French. So what we do, we use a switch. We say, okay, switch means take the value, look at the value of str calling number. Remember, that is the one that contains a caller ID. Uh, usually it's supposed to be 10 digit, but using substring, we're saying take only the uh, first five, four digits, starting from zero, take the three digit code. So usually if the number is right here, uh, this is not going to work because this one contain one which means we have to use another switch statement if the call came from uh, if the caller ID is 514 201 2001 then it will match this but if it is happened to be 11 digit then what we're going to do we're going to follow this switch which will be 04 Start from position zero, take the four digit. All right. Actually, I believe this is incorrect. That should be one. That should be one. Okay, I will uh, correct that on my script. Now, if the call comes from these two area code, Quebec and French, we're gonna go to set language France. French. Uh, French language, which will be for Quebec City. Quebec City or Montreal. If it is anything else, which is default, then we will set this. In the default, if the call, if the caller ID is 11 digit, 1514, set it to French, 1819, set it to French. For anything else, set it to English. So we go to that area. So this is what's going to happen in this scenario. As soon as the call come in, to this it's a go to French it's going to jump all the way to this area which is a switch language it says switch language this is the variable that hold that contain your language and in this switch statement which is right here we're saying there's only one value L bracket FR underscore CA which is for France uh, French in Canada so this is the value uh, coming from this particular variable called language session, which is a language variable. If it is French, then we're going to set some variables like set the language. 
some extensions and then of course make sure that the variable lang uh, language session has been hard coded to uh, this value right here so again you can so this is the case of French if it is English we'll do the exactly the same thing but make sure you set to English now once this is done then you're going to do week of a uh, day of the week time of day and if it is 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. the call center state is should be closed for any other time it should be open Sunday close for rest you know between this time for rest of the day, uh, time is open and then you're going to use a switch statement to decide whether the value of this is open or close so using for this it shows you how to create the time of the day all right so switch statement which provide two value close or open uh, these are my connections right there and if it is close we're going to play the close greeting and this and send the calls to disconnection but if it is open we're going to continue the script and when I continue it comes to this script this is a step called menu and in the menu I'm saying play the welcome prompt plus the language switch that means it's going to say welcome to voice boot, voice bootcamp and then after it's going to say uh, you know if you you know in, in in opposite language in this case French that if you wish to change it to French press 9 so what we have to do is that we're going to use a menu and then press 9 and which is a switch language as you can see the menu switch language under the switch language I'm going to put another switch which is going to check to see if it is French if it is French set it to English otherwise set it to if it is English set it to French so the idea behind is that if I press 9 if I press 9 what I'm going to do I'm going to set the value to English because the goal idea idea that at this stage is that the language is or the original language is French but user has pressed 9 so now that means intention of the user is to listen to English so in this scenario what's happening is that whatever the language you are listening you have option to switch the language and as you press 9 it will switch the language and you're saying if it is French then change it to English. If it is English, change it to France. So once the menu options passes by, it goes to check if the office is closed or not. So what we're doing, we're doing a if uh, force close equal true, disconnect the call. Uh, if it is not true, oh, sorry, go to disconnect. Uh, if it is uh, otherwise false, then continue with the menu option. And that's when you're gonna hear the official menu then that says, press one for support center and so on so so that's pretty much the script so this is your main menu that after going through all this hoopla is going to open and it's going to give you a bunch of options press one for support two for facility and nine to again change the menu uh, language this man this Canadian people they love to switch languages like crazy so you press nine and again you're going to go through this whole setup switch language if it is France, change it to English. If it is English, change it to France. And disconnect label, that is the very end. You can play a prompt saying, sorry, our office is closed. And you can take it from there. So that's pretty much the script that we have for uh, achieving this uh, language uh, setting. Now, in order to support that, you're going to make sure that your UCCX server has proper uh, language uh, setup files uh, uploaded. So here is the script. I'll show you the script so that you can oops, get an idea. So language change to France. So this is your script. STR is getting the caller ID as you can see. It's taking uh, substring three digit from position zero five one four eight one four eight one nine 
those are the two area code in Fra in uh, Quebec and then what's going to happen is in case if, if if it's not either of these two then it's going to go to the default and the default is going to get again but this one we're going to change I think it's going to be one because this one contains 11 digit number one five one four one five one eight one nine and if it fail if either of these two conditions are met change the language to French otherwise set it to English now if it does happen to be 514 the call will jump all the way to here because that's a, that's on the switch French set France and then it's gonna set contact and set contact info is where the actual language is being forced up onto the UCCX system so that is the important part so this is what's where uh, the language is being set all right so these are a bunch of extensions we don't we're not going to worry about that and we're, we're going to make sure that the variable called language session has the hard-coded value French if it is English you'll do the opposite see that there you go but then of course your day of the week I won't you know go into details about that switch to check if the office is closed or not and if it is uh, open then play the main menu main menu what it's gonna do is gonna play the main option welcome to whatever and then it's gonna give you at the end is gonna basically what it's doing is playing two prompt one is called welcome prompt and plus the switching language prompt so that is, we have a special lang uh, recording that says if you want to switch from French to English press 9 so you play that option make sure the menu has the option to press 9 as you can see menu does have the option to press 9 the whole idea about this menu is just to give the welcome prompt and give the user an option to change the menu that's all check the office is closed or not and then finally go to the main menu and the main menu this is where you're going to hear the actual company's uh, menu and if the user press one do this press two do that and so on so all right so let's go ahead and upload this i believe we have an application already uploaded so we're going to go to well let me save this script because of the changes that i made we're going to upload number language setting number five All right, now that it is done, I will go to the application and change. I, again, uh, I'm going to just simply change an existing one. Not going to make much change. Lab number five. And you must define all sorts of menu options. Uh, I, I know, make sure you define all the prompt that you need. I'm just going to keep it default. All right, so let's try and see what happened. We're going to do a debug, uh, obviously, to make sure that it follows the uh, lab number five. Wait 10, 60 seconds. Phone is up. All right, so I'm going to dial from, make sure I get, I get a dial from the area code. Remember that, 514. So we should, we're expecting to hear the French language. Let's start starting getting the caller ID two seconds delay switch set the French see going to a French area all this is before you hear anything of course it might be my okay now it's still open Bienvenue au centre de soutien au système magasin et du service d'entretien Nous savons combien il est important pour vous de maximiser le rendement de votre magasin en le maintenant I have no idea what is she saying. service in English, please press 9. I press 9? Okay, it was too late, actually. That's why it didn't pick it up. So I gotta tweak the timer. Pour joindre le centre de soutien okay. des systèmes I, I will have no idea what she is saying. I will stop it. And I'm gonna play one more time. But this time I'm going to actually play a 9 to switch the language. Oh, 
Okay, so let's try one more time. Start the script. So be ready to press 9. Okay, I press 9. It set the language, see English, goes back to the English area. I even, I'm not even touching it, anything. Just watch. Week, day, time, open, continue. Thank you for calling. There you go. Thank you for calling. I'm not pressing 9 again. <laughs> All right. So that's basically how you uh, switch languages. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this particular lab. Course, please press one. I will see you in the next.